hello welcome back to my channel uh, today I want to show you my digital control system a mobile digital control system it's uh, based on a lens and it's inside a plastic box uh, I will show you this and uh, maybe it's an idea for you if you have a mobile layout you can uh, use this for an example so uh, let's go and take a look here is the box it has uh, this is the track side as you might call it or something else you can see it has four uh, three outputs here two big ones and a smaller one the two big ones are directly coming from the boosters they are LV uh, 200 boosters and they are capable of 10 amps each so in total I have 20 amps of track power here the two smaller ones are for the programming track and they are separate from everything else only used for programming uh, what's uh, on the other side On the other side we have the two um, connectors for the uh, handheld control controller uh, you can even put in a longer cable in here to, that goes to another two and so on and so on you can put them in a daisy chain also there is the power input the 230 volts 3, uh, 300 watts they're about and we have a power switch so that's the box from uh, the outside let's take a look on the inside the lid is uh, comes with uh, these clips and it's closed from uh, the top so when it's raining or, or there's a light drizzle you can put it over the box and it can keep the relatively dry it's not uh, completely uh, watertight. What is on top of the box? Uh, well, these are the two uh, uh, tracks. I have two of them. Nice uh, beefy uh, loudspeaker cable, two and a half millimeter square. And I made them as a uh, railroad crossing. Why I did that? As you can see, there are two. Uh, cuts here and they are there to uh, pr uh, make uh, two separate loops so when you connect this up everything on this side has power and it goes round and then when the other one comes on it goes on like this it has exactly the same uh, build they slide together and all the tracks in between here will have the power coming from this cable the next section will have the power from this cable so if you use this you can make uh, uh, yeah sep separate uh, track power uh, sections so you have uh, it, it, yeah, you separate it. I uh, have some long wires on here, about uh, four four meters or something like that, and I have these uh, banana plugs on there, so they can you can just stick them into the banana plugs on the other side, and the colors are corresponding with the track, so the red one is corresponding with this track uh, and the black one is with this one so uh, that e makes it easier for you to not make a short take them out what else is in this box well it's uh, in need of repair so I'm just gonna show you and later on I will do another video 
when I repaired it. What's in here? Well, this is the LZ100 digital central central unit. This is the brains of the of the whole shit, uh, stuff, and these two are the LV200 boosters. One of these boosters is capable of, I told you, 10 amps. These 10 amps are only when you feed it with a direct current. If you use a AC current, alternating current, then they can only supply 8 amps. So this is uh, normally this will be uh, screwed together, but I, as I told you, I will do some job work on it because it's uh, older. Uh, this is the power cord. Comes with uh, a nice plug, standard uh, Dutch power plug, and here we have the the handheld. It can all go in there. And there's a lot more junk in there. There's also uh, this device. It's an... Uh, this device is a... Uh, yeah, a converter to the LGB controllers. You could plug in uh, an LGB lens, uh, an LGB... Uh, controller mouse and this would convert it so that the lens system would operate on it. Um, sadly enough it, it worked but it wasn't great so I, uh, I we, we got rid of that stuff and I, I didn't uh, use it anymore. So uh, this will come out. There's some other stuff and decoder and uh, yeah some other stuff. What is behind here? I'm gonna open it up and I will do some work on it. There are here two fuses. Uh, one is for the bottom, the other is for the top and also on number one is the central unit. They are fuses of 15 amps rated I believe and uh, they are pushable to reset. Uh, let me take them out and then we can take a look on the inside. Ta-da! What's inside here? Now you can see a little bit more uh, the structure of this device. Uh, let's start here. Here is the main uh, switch and in the bottom you can see the main connector down there. Uh, I wired it uh, to be a, a double pole disconnect uh, uh, switch so it is uh, of both wires are disconnected because with our system here in, in Holland we can uh, put the plug in either this way or like so you can rotate it, rotate it either way and the uh, neutral, neutral and live wires can be swapped only the earth connector here cannot be swapped it, it will always be the same but so because of that I use for all my stuff a double uh, switch this is a nice uh, yeah big beefy and I don't know ring ring transformer they call it here but it's, uh, it's a coil I've uh, made a little board and put a long screw through there so that it's hold against this uh, this wood and 
the both of the outputs I have made and this is really botched together this is crappy um, <laughs> I, I was a lot younger when I did this I made these uh, bridge rectifiers here from a nice big uh, beefy diodes and I will be changing this out to a little bit uh, better uh, stuff by the way these uh, switches these uh, circuit breakers are rated 10 amps down here on this side you can see here the power cables go out and they go come in here and they, they go into the back of the control unit, uh, the, the power booster uh, again I will be needing to clear uh, this up this will be my new project and I will make it a little bit better <laughs> because I'm not altogether happy with it so these are the connections this is the cable coming from the central unit it's uh, daisy chained to the next booster and then to the control center this wire uh, these two wires the C and D wires are twisted and this wire is left out so well what I'm going to do with this device is uh, I will uh, clean it up more and I will put the the circuit breakers on on a piece of uh, material this is called trespa it's a bakelite material nice and sturdy and I will make this piece where they are in I will make it so that it will stay in here and if you need to do something you can just unscrew it and take it out and leave them to uh, in place what I also will do is get a few 25 amp bridge rectifiers where I can use these uh, nice uh, AMP uh, crimp lugs on and I can just slide it on there so that everything is nice uh, and tidy and I will need to clean out the solder <laughs> what I just found in here Look, some solder what I also want to do is the way these are placed in here uh, heat can build up and at one point a long time ago because I will tell you this I made this roughly in the 90s 1950, uh, 1995 thereabout I made this and uh, yeah it's, it's, it's old <laughs> it's old school and uh, I was a lot younger then I will make what I will gonna do is space these out a little bit more so that there is an air gap in between I will make the cutout here uh, bigger so that it, it will fit in here and I will make a fan uh, go in I will put a fan in here and maybe I will put it on this side on the bo on the top blowing down or sucking out and I can put uh, put holes on this side in the panel of wood so that the air is sucked in here and blown out here so the warm air yeah well that it, that it will do that maybe I uh, come to think of it why not just leave these suck the air through these holes 
that's even better then the air goes through here and out here again so that uh, yeah that's better I think well uh, that's an inside look what I'm also gonna do is send the digital central unit the central unit and the handheld unit for an update uh, I will send it uh, ship it to uh, the lens uh, factory they will do the update uh, I can update my system because it's uh, relatively new it has a uh, software now running from 2.1 for the central unit and I believe 2.2 for the handheld um, and it will be updated to uh, 3.6 and 3.4 or 5 I believe but information on that is on uh, the lens uh, site and uh, if you take uh, contact they will tell you what to do other thing is if you want to be sure you can update your system uh, it is possible only if there's a relay switching when you go to programming mode if you go to programming mode and uh, you keep your ear to the central unit and you will hear a click then your system is updatable if you don't hear this click your system is too old and probably will not uh, cannot be updated uh, to uh, uh, higher than 3.6 or, or 3.6 at least so more of this information or, for, or information on this updating is uh, on the lens site and I will put a link in the description down below this was uh, it and I hope to see you on another video please like and subscribe and I hope this wasn't too long Thank you.